The great flying saucer mystery of 1966 began here, near Dexter, Michigan, late in March. And with Frank Manor, father of ten children, a countryman, a hunting man, a man used to wooded swamplands by night. Frank Manor's UFO remained over his swamp more than four hours. His children saw it, his in-laws saw it, residents of the area saw it, the police saw it. No one photographed it, but Sergeant Newell Schneider of the Sheriff's Office remembered it well enough to draw it. No, it uh, moved very rapidly at any speed or rather any direction it wanted to go. Why it could change and go to the right or the left or go crossways uh, without hesitating a bit. Forty miles away, another swamp land and another UFO sighting. Mr. Ford, uh, what about flying saucers? You've had some in Michigan in the past uh, week. Do you really believe in flying saucers? You've called for a congressional investigation. Dave, uh, we've had several uh, incidents in Michigan in the last uh, week. Uh, incidents that uh, many reliable, good citizens felt were uh, sufficient to justify some action by our government and not the kind of flippant answer that was given by the Air Force uh, where they passed it off as a, a swamp gas. The Congress should investigate the rash of reported sightings of unidentified flying objects in southern Michigan and other parts of the country. We in a, in a schoolyard with about 20 other men, and we saw a, a, a bright light uh, appear in the distant uh, western skies, and it got uh, closer and closer, and when it uh, was just above the treetops, it changed color and it stayed there for a while, and then it uh, disappeared into the distance. And none of us could ever imagine what it was. And I still... That now that we know there are not hundreds, not millions, but billions of other solar systems out there, thanks to the Hubble telescope and what we know about black holes in the universe and all of that, the, the dimensions of physics are such that I would be quite surprised if in the lifetime of people that are no older than 30 here, we don't discover some form of life in another universe. So I think there are lots of interesting discoveries, biological, on Earth, and other discoveries in the heavens that those of you who are younger will get